Hey everybody, I have a real quick question about rubber hose and the rubber rig. So I'm having some issues right now. I can click my upper arm, whoops, and then I can click my forearm and I can hit rubber rig. So let me turn off these other layers real quick. And you see what I have, and so this is fine, right? I understand that I deselect top layer, bottom layer, rubber rig, and it's supposed to work like that, and sometimes, depending on the artwork, I get that it won't align. My big issue is that I can move the anchor points and I can move the rotation. Now, in this case, I don't exactly have to move the rotation, but I do have to move the anchor points. So that one's good. And this one is, we'll just call that guy good. And so this does, this does work, right? To, to an extent. Um, the problem is, is when I grab the wrist controller, Yep. So sometimes that happens. Um, so that that's a little bit of an issue. Now, I can try it again. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my AI files. And now I have two different shape layers. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these guys. And hide them so we can start nice and fresh. So with the AI files, it worked a little bit wonky. And now I have shape layer files. So once again, I'll deselect, I'll go upper arm, and then I'll go forearm, and I will hit the boom, rubber rig button. And what happens now in this case is that I can adjust them, and it's going to work like it should work, okay? So... Put this guy in is roughly in where he's supposed to be. Okay, and then I'll put this other guy where he is roughly supposed to be. So this does two things, right? Like with the AI file, it didn't distort the um, the art layer or the layer. But with the shape layer, it does distort the layer. Uh, the good thing is, is that it works. But it works and you distort the layer. So, my two questions are basically, one, how to get this to work with the AI files. Um, and then... Two, if I can't really make it work the way I want to with the AI files, how do I get the shape layers to stop distorting? And then lastly, how can I adjust the position of the controllers? Because if I can adjust the position of the controllers, that would be super cool. Um, yeah, that's all I have. I've checked out their YouTube channel. I've checked out the Brain Dump. So I've also went to School of Motion and went to their work, uh, work show flow. And I couldn't find anything else out about these issues. If you guys have any um, quick tips or some quick solves, I would really appreciate it. Until then, I'm probably just going to throw it together in Duic or just keyframe the heck out of it. Thank you for your time. Look forward to any advice you have. Have a good night.